dear friends, every now and then we are coming across news of forest fires in some part of the globe, which is very alarming as it is further escalating the global warming. Global warming is also one of the major factors responsible for this increase in wildfires. It has become a vicious cycle trap, the global warming creates dried out vegetation, dry leaves, dry dead grasses and dry tree barks by rapidly reducing their moisture, which enhances the possibility of frequent and bigger forest fires. The dried up vegetation acts like a giant mass of kindling. The increased forest fires in turn results in the increased emission of carbon dioxide which is responsible for the rise in temperature hence contributing to global warming. In the natural causes, lightning is the biggest natural cause of forest fires. The lightning strokes of high electric voltages cause fire through directly igniting dry vegetation. The forest fires due to lightning are quite common especially after dry seasons when the dead vegetation and the fallen leaves in the forest are totally dry without any moisture. Whatever may be the reason but the wildfires are destroying our forests which are not only lungs for us as they provide us oxygen, but they also play a big role in reducing the carbon dioxide in the environment which is one of the greenhouse gases, which controls the global warming. So, it is better to be proactive and take preventive measures in advance to avoid occurrence of wildfires or to contain it at the initial stage itself. As we know that to kindle a fire requires three components, fuel, heat source and oxygen. Heat sources such as sun, a hot bolt of lightning, a smoldering matchstick or a burning cigarette can supply enough heat to spark a fire in the dried forest during the summer season. We can also control the supply of fuel like the dry dead grass, dry leaves and dry tree barks to some extent by getting them collected before and during the dry summer season especially in the forests where pine trees and other trees containing flammable oils are present. At the Indian Institute of Technology, Mundi in the state of Himachal Pradesh, in India the researchers have developed a machine in which the dry pine needles are used to make briquettes or pallets, which is used as fuel, thereby reducing the cutting down of trees by villagers for fuel purpose. The Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dami of Uttarakhand State in India, has announced to buy pine needles known as Piral, in the local language, from the villagers at the rate of rupees 50 per kilogram. By collecting the dry pine needles, which contains flammable oils and acts like mass of kindling will not only save the forests from fires but will also strengthen the economic condition of the villagers. Using pine needles the scientists and researchers of G.B. Punt University of Uttarakhand have also successfully developed valuable biogrease which can be used in lubricating the ball bearings of machines and bioresin which can be used as adhesive for pasting plywood in furniture.